Hey there, it's Danielle Burnack from DanielleBurnack.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. And I'm gonna talk to you today about how change is inevitable. But there's this other thing that is not. So what is that? Change happens. I talk about that. I even talk about how trauma is change that we don't want. But healing is change that we do want. But see, change is inevitable because change happens. Things change all the time. But if we want change to go a certain way, then we need to do something called grow. Even healing and growing or just personal growth. And personal growth and personal development and inner healing, those things don't happen by accident. Those things only happen with intention, with choice, on purpose. And you can do that if you'll give yourself to that. I talk about that in so many different ways because growth isn't an instantaneous thing either. It's a constant thing. It's a little by little thing. It's a adding and adding and adding. Just think of a tree. Think of a seed. You plant a seed in the ground and for a long time, even, you know, with the sun and you water it, you don't see any change, but it's changing where you can't see. The same thing with us. If we will give ourselves to inner healing, personal growth, and becoming a better person, we will change in the way we want to. It may not look like it instantaneously. It will take a while. And the more that we want to change, the longer it will take. Like it takes how long for an oak tree to get as ginormous as it gets. Some things they grow quickly. Some things take a long time to grow. So it depends on what you want to grow in your life of what you need to plant in your life. Things get planted in our lives by accident. We hear people say things, and sometimes it hurts our soul. They say nasty things. Sometimes we say things to ourselves that hurt our soul. But we can do something about it. We can counter that. We can take action against that, to turn things around in our lives, to take control and ownership of the things we have that control and ownership over. I talked the other day about how anxiety is a grasp for control when we don't have control and how sometimes we have control and sometimes we don't. And when we don't, we need to let go of that and give that to God who can actually do something about it. But we do need to take ownership and control over the things we do have ownership and control over, the right to take ownership of like our own personal growth, our inner healing, our lives. God gave you your life. He put greatness inside of you. And if you can't see it, then you just need to do some digging, some personal growth to get to it. And if you see, well, I got this little thing, it's not really a big deal. Well, maybe it's a lot bigger deal than you thought. Listen to my message on acknowledgement. You have greatness in you. God put you here for a reason. And I come on here to tell you this, that I love you because you matter. And what is inside of you matters. And the things that can grow from you and in you matter. You can change the world. Not every aspect of it. No one does that. But we all affect one another. We can change the world little by little because we affect one another. And we can live a life of love and honor centric, being centered around love and honor, honoring yourself, honoring those around you, loving yourself, loving those around you and growing, giving yourself to personal growth will feed that because you'll become a better person. We become better when we give ourselves to personal growth. So I want to encourage you, where do you need to grow? Just pick one area, one area, because if we pick too much, we get overwhelmed and then we do nothing. So pick one thing, one area where you need to grow, where you want to grow, just some little thing and do one thing. 
Do one thing today. If you don't know where to start, head over to my website, daniellebernock.com. Go to the free resources tab or just peruse it and find what serves you so that you can become who you were born to be because you matter. Till next time, I love you.